Hey guys, Kaijudo Yoshi here. Uh, I have a deck profile of the deck that I used at League today. Uh, I played three matches. I played two versus a fire, fire light deck, and then I played one versus a nature light deck. Um, I beat the nature light. And then I won one against the fire light, and I lost one against the fire light. So yeah, this egg was pretty cool for me today. It went through a lot of changes throughout the day. This is like the ending build that I had. See, so yeah, I'm just going to show it. Alright, so three Skeeter Swarmer. I still like this guy a lot. I still feel like I need blockers at like all times. And he's a two drop, which is really important. This deck does not have a lot of early drops, which is kind of a weakness to it. Um, no level 3 darks, just 3 fumes. Um, this card was okay for me today. Usually I drop it once, and then from there, you know, what they'd have zero hand, and then from there I couldn't do anything with it. So I just start manning them. This card was, I wouldn't drop it then too, because it's really, really good when you have it as that, like, the first time you drop it, it's, like, amazing. So I want to have it as much as I can. Just If I can just start manning it from the point that it's, like, not useful, I'd rather do that. Got one Dark Scare Adorable. Uh, the card was pretty good for me today. Yeah, it was a finisher that I desperately needed at most points. So, yeah, I'd probably put this at the 2. It was pretty good. Along with Razor Kinder, I'd probably put this at the 2 as well. Because, like I said, I just need more finishers. This was awesome today. Because, you know, it would just get rid of any monster when you summon it. And I did a whole bunch of combos with this and Rusalka, which was really awesome. Yeah, that's all for the dark monsters. Just eight dark monsters. Not that much. And then I did have a lot of dark spells. I have three Specter Claws. The card was amazing today. This was like, I was debating whether I ran this or Gigastand, and I definitely don't regret running this over Gigastand. Um, this is another turn two play that I can do, which is really good. And if they hit this in the shield last, it's really nice. And this is an out to Gill Flame, which I did twice today, the tournament, which is really nice. Uh, I've got three Bone Blades to get rid of monsters. And then I've just got two Terra Pits. I only have two. I'll probably run three. But yeah... Generic monster removal. If you draw it early, just mana, etc. And that was uh, that was eight or yeah eight spells. So it's just sixteen dark. And now for the water, it's got twenty four. So yeah, I've got three refis. Uh, this card's awesome. This was really good for me all throughout the day. It's a two drop, which is really important. And it's a 3,000. You know, it's not amazing just because it's a guard, but it's still a really good card. You, It's really important at certain points. Uh, three Seneschals because the card is just pretty good throughout the day, I guess. I've got three Hydra Spies. Another card that was just pretty good throughout the day. I know a lot of people don't like running, like, three Seneschals and three Hydra Spies. They usually just pick between one or the other. Most people play pick Seneschal. But I think Hydra Spy was pretty good. I'm thinking about cutting both of them down a little bit, like running two Seneschals, two Hydra Spies. I think I have too many monsters at the moment, but yeah. I've got three Rusalka Aqua Chasers. I think this would be definitely be the first card that I cut. It was okay today. The best play that I did with it was, like I said, my Bouncing Razor Kinder. I did that twice in one match, and it, I did end up winning that match. Just because of the, you know just constantly getting rid of monsters and stuff, which is really good. But this is really only good with bouncing your own stuff. Bouncing your opponent's stuff isn't good. I've kind of figured that out today. I mean, it doesn't really matter if you bounce stuff against, like, rush decks and aggro decks and stuff like that, because they're just dropping a whole bunch of low mana cards. So, I mean, they're going to have a whole bunch of mana, because, you know, they'll, if they're playing stuff like nature, they can accelerate quickly through it. So if you bounce their card, they can just drop that card and the card that they drew drew for their turn next turn so it's not that strong uh, i've got three frog zookas because i needed more blockers 
and Frogzooka is an awesome blocker, and I like outs to Gilliflame. I've got three Reef Prints throughout the day. I was going from one Reef Prince to three Reef Princes, but I ended up getting three after I played all my matches. So I was really only playing with two throughout the tournament, and it was pretty good. Um, I would go for my key cards all throughout the day and get whatever I needed to just, like, help me. This would be an amazing late-game card just because I could get the Terra Pit or the some out to monsters that I really needed with this guy, whenever I needed it, so that was good. Uh, I've got three logo scans, and this that was all for the monsters, now for the spells. Three logo scans, this is standard. I've got one crystal memory, I'd probably run two of these if I could. I only have one, I actually picked this up at the end of the day, so that's why I've got this here. And yeah, I... Can't really say much about it. I mean, you search your deck for any card, get whatever you need. I figure it'll be kind of like Reef Prince, where like I get the card that I need for next turn to win. And it's a Shield Blast, which is pretty cool. Last but not least, I've got two Storm Spark Blasts. Uh, I put this in here because I just felt like I was like low on Shield Blasts. That would like effectively stop my opponent from making plays. Honestly, this was probably the best card in my deck like throughout the day this basically won me most of my matches without this i definitely would have lost all like a lot of the matches i won because i use this to go for games so many times today i would just start getting advantage with the stuff like the hydra spies and the fumes and stuff like that and then once i had a full field of guys that can attack i just storm spark all of your cards and then i go for game it was it also you could use it like if you're playing against like a rush deck, you know they have their like full field, and you can like storm spark and then start running over everything, and of course if they hit in the shield blast it's amazing, obviously, and then if it's in your hand you can easily just put it into the mana instantly, which isn't bad because then the next one that you draw will pretty much instantly be live, unless you open up two, I open up two that I mean yes it can be bad. But, you know, you can just mana 2. Or you can just mana 1 and just hold out on 1 until you need to go for game. And I definitely would have ran 3 over 2, but I only have 2. So, that's why that was like that. And yeah, that's my deck. So, it's actually only 22 waters. And it's 2 lights. But yeah, I would make some changes after the tournament. And yeah, I did have a lot of fun, though. And yeah, I guess that's all for now. Hope you guys like the deck. Thanks for watching, and peace.